So this is our 95 Suburban with the barn doors and I had problems with it getting wet back here. That's a, something spilled there years ago. Anyhow, it would be wet down here. And from what I read online, they talk about replacing this seal. And then I've seen some guys that uh, took what's called backer rod and stuffed it in there. Because if you pull it back, that's pretty dirty. But yeah, you see that hole right there? And then they try to fish a backer rod through there. What I did is I got some uh, expansion foam. The kind that you use around windows that it'll expand but it won't push your window to where it deforms it. And you know it has a straw on it and it fits. You can stuff it in that hole right there. You can stuff the straw up, pull the trigger and slowly pull it out. Okay now I didn't do the sides. I just did the top up here and now it's like solid oh, there's a little void there but I must not have a leak there because and there's a little void right there so I just did there anyhow it's uh it's been a week or so and this is now dry it's not leaking this is all solid now, so I guess it just helps the rubber to seal. But it's real simple. I mean, a can of that stuff's only $4. I had a leftover can. That's why I ended up with some voids, because it wasn't working towards the end. It wasn't coming out of the can, because that can, you're not really supposed to use it and then save it for later. But anyhow, I thought that might help someone out instead of trying to fish a backer rod in there, because that backer rod can snap. It's not... You can't put a lot of tension on it trying to feed it through. And then I didn't put a lot of care in. See, there was foam here. And if you get foam everywhere, let it be till it dries. And it just snaps right off when it's hard. And then you can just take your nail and scratch it right off. You can get like a scotch pad probably. Anyhow. Just use expansion foam. I just this is all solid now. Oh, well, there's a little bit of void there, but like I said, it's not leaking anymore. I mean, I was putting moisture absorbers in here that I get from the dollar store because they're four bucks at Walmart, but they're a dollar at the dollar store. And they've been in they've been in here a month, and normally let me grab one. Normally this thing would, you know, have a little puddle of water at the bottom by now, and it doesn't, which means the cab is staying dry now. 